Qatar. Since the moment Qatar was awarded the World Cup in 2010, people have been asking, how will a country of less than 3 million people host a global event accommodating more than a million fans? The country will soon show the world how. Nobody believed that we will be able to do it. Nobody expected that we will achieve all the infrastructure developments that we did. Nobody expected that we will be ready with all the stadiums that was required in a small country and in a very confined place in that small country. And we did everything. Once their planes touch down, organizers hope fans will experience an efficient entry process. Doha will have two airports operating to handle the influx of arrivals. From Hamad International Airport, fans can use the Doha Metro. On some lines, the trains are capable of transporting 1,000 people every 165 seconds. Between one-third and half of the fans heading to matches are expected to hop on a free ride. Also free, shuttle buses to carry crowds during peak demand. One of the things to balance this, uh, this peak is uh, to give the spectator uh, multi uh, multiple options to utilize uh, either the, the metro, the buses, the tournament, uh, the tournament buses. So they have multiple options to move around the city. Qatar residents are being asked to drive to the stadiums to help reduce congestion on mass transit. 1,700 kilometers of highways and major roads, which include 207 uh, uh, bridges, in addition to 143 under, and a combination of underpasses and tunnels, which definitely can, you know, give a free flow for uh, a traffic during the World Cup. The Public Works Authority has also built more than 2,100 kilometers of bike and footpaths. Five pedestrian underpasses have been designed to keep the crowds flowing in what will be the most heavily trafficked areas. Qatar 2022 organizers say the first World Cup in the Middle East will also make history as the first to be carbon neutral. Critics say the plan is not credible, but organizers say this is another opportunity to end the naysaying while striving to reduce the carbon footprint of one of the biggest sports events in the world. Natasha Ganem, Al Jazeera, Doha.